Welcome back. So the Yeoman command has, run, has uh, done its thing. It's created a beautiful application here ready to use. Uh, I put this all on Git now. So if you want to get it as it is uh, from scratch, which might not make sense, but as we start changing this, it might make sense. So I added here, uh, here's the path up here. So you can go and clone that if you want to get my code. Okay. Um, let's have a look at what we need next. I want you to be able to sign up on Heroku. So there's a small sign up button on heroku.com. Let's just do it from scratch here. Heroku.com, go in there and then we can say sign up right here. Or you can say log in here depending on what you want to do. And I was at the login page, so you've signed up now. That's my guess. So I press log in, put in your credentials of course, and log in. And then we're actually pretty much up and running with the first part of the Heroku setup here. You need something like this, and now we want to create a new app. Don't do it here. We don't. It's going to be Node, but we don't want to start it out. We just want to do it as a basic app here. And I'm going to call it uh, CP2 uh, REST, like this. That's my new application. It can't contain any. Oh, okay, like this then. There we go. CP2 REST. Now you can't call it the same because that's taken now. I'm going to put it on Europe server. Again, choose US if you want to. I don't think it makes a huge difference with the data we're using here. And I'm just going to say create new app. There we go. Now we have our new Heroku app. Now to start working with this, probably we're going to need to install the Heroku CLI. So that's the next step I want you guys to do. Now, depending on what your system is, you need to follow these step by step. Now there was X installer is pretty simple to use. And so is the Windows one. Uh, but you can try and see if you can get this up and running or else put in the comment the errors you're getting. But here's like, you're getting an installation file. So it shouldn't, it really shouldn't be a problem. Um, here's a problem. If you don't have Homebrew installed already, you can use this installer right here for Homebrew and then install using this guy right here. Or you can just download the install and run that and that will work as well. The Angular CLI means command line interface. And it's a way for us to start doing commands directly in the prompt like I can write Heroku help now right so when you're up and running with this just test that try to write Heroku help or Heroku version and you should get something looking the way that I see right here right so that means that now from the command prompt we can start working with Heroku so it's like a direct connection to our Heroku server so we can start sending code to Heroku logging into Heroku stuff like that so that's the goal and that's where you need to go and you can get all the way there if you just look at this installation guide right here. I don't know if that's too scary, but uh, I think you'll figure it out. It's not that complex. If it brings you problems, let me know and we will try. I'll try and extend this guide. See you in the next lesson.